Now, desperate times call for desperate measures. The cricketer turned politician Imran Khan is known to be a jihadi sympathizer. Now, faced with a rather close contest, he is taking the help of terrorists in the Pakistan elections. The U.S. designated terror group Harkatul Mujahideen has openly come out in support of Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf party. Maulana Fazlur Rahman Khalil, the founder of Harkatul Mujahideen, who was uh, who has links to Al Qaeda, has announced support for Imran Khan in the elections. On the face of it, it's because Imran Khan has promised to create an Islamic welfare state. But this backing is crucial at a time when Imran Khan is locked in a close contest with Nawaz Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Party in the Punjab province and the Pakistan People's Party of Bilawal Bhutto Zardari in the Sindh province. Earlier, a PTI candidate, Asad Umar, had announced on social media that Fazlur Rahman Khalil has joined Imran Khan's party, but he retracted it later, clarifying that the terrorist has decided only to support the party and will not be joining it. The U.S. government had placed Khalil on a list of specially designated global terrorists in the year 2014. All right, joining me from Karachi is Shahzeb Jilani, a former BBC editor working in London and a correspondent in Pakistan. Now, Shahzeb, one week to go for the elections. Who do you reckon is ahead or close to winning the election? Is it the Pakistani army or Imran Khan or both? <laughs> I think the answer lies in your question. Um, if you assume that Imran Khan is being backed by the army, uh, given the atmosphere, we are going to have these elections. Uh, it looks um, pretty convincing uh, that a way has been paved for him to gain uh, majority. Uh, this has been done by switching loyalties of uh, Nawaz Sharif's uh, party. Uh, uh, I have traveled in Balochistan, in Punjab province. People I have met uh, have repeatedly told me that these elections are tainted, uh, that candidates were forced, uh, army and ISI officials uh, were using threats of corruption cases against uh, people. So we have seen um, uh, a lot of uh, independent candidates, a lot of uh, uh, candidates of main political parties switching sides uh, in the last few months, uh, you look at the media coverage and it's disproportionately in favor of Imran Khan. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it looks like that uh, he, he has a clear backing from the powers that be and he uh, he looks pretty, pretty confident, some would say overconfident. Indeed. And Shahzeb, this election, the parliamentary and the provincial election will be remembered for the so-called mainstreaming of terrorists and terror groups. Also, as you mentioned... The media clampdown and the intimidation of some candidates with some of uh, members of uh, the PPP and the PMLN saying that they were threatened not to contest or to switch sides and join the PTI of Imran Khan. Now, in your reckoning, how do you see the political fortunes of the two principal parties, PMLN and the PPP, in these elections at the federal level, at the provincial level as well? Well, uh, Nawaz Sharif's party still has... Uh sizable support in Punjab province. They will uh, take a lot of seats. Uh, I think, I, I don't want to speculate whether they will take uh, more seats uh, than Imran Khan's party or not. Uh, when you talk about Sindh, which is the second biggest province, uh, People's Party uh, has been in power in the province for 10 years, uh, and they are confident that they will gain majority, uh, even though there are uh, a lot of anti uh, PPP uh, smaller parties who have uh, banded together in a coalition. Uh, they also are being supported by Imran Khan's party. Uh, there is allegedly backing from the military establishment to those parties. So it looks like both uh, Zardari's party and Sharif's party are at the receiving end in this election. And so are some other nationalist parties in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa who have repeatedly called for the supremacy of uh, constitution and parliament. They want civilian supremacy in the country, and they have uh, taken that stance in the parliament over the last few years. All, right. all these parties are at the receiving end in this election.
Right on that note, Shahzeb Jilani in Karachi, thank you so much for joining me on Beyond Dispatch. Appreciate it.